Hey mo, magandang umaga po or magandang hapon sa inyo mga pharmacy students. So this is a video lecture concerning our dilution and concentration. So this lecture will cover the basics of dilution and concentrations and this will also serve as the sample problems together with their solutions. So to start. What is dilution? So dilution is the act of altering the concentration of a solution leading to a less concentrated solution. So bali po, pag sinabi nating dilution, pababa ang concentration. So pag po example 90%, then dinilute po natin. Dapat po ang lalabas na concentration diyan ay mas mababa. Take for example 70%. So yan po ang dilution. So, kung sa Tagalog po, ang tawag po diyan ay pagpapatabang. Okay po. Next, we have our concentration. <clears throat> so, you may be familiar na concentration dati is a measure of how strong a substance is. Pero minsan din, pwede siyang term na patatapangin. So, concentration or strengthening is the act of altering the concentration of a solution leading to a more concentrated solution. So, ito po yung ating opposite ng dilution. When we say concentration, example, you have a 50% solution. Kapag po siya ay inyong kinoncentrate or stinrengthen, dapat po tataas ang kanyang concentration. Hindi po bababa. So, kapag dilution, pababa ang concentration. Kapag strengthening, pataas ang concentration. So, bakit po ba natin kailangan mag-dilute? Una, kailangan po natin dilute to prepare various concentrations of a solution. Example, um, meron kang solution pero mali ang concentration. You can adjust the solution by just diluting. Next is to prepare a solution from a stock solution. So, if you have a stock solution, so stock solutions are readily available. Concentrated solutions used in diluting. So, if you have a stock solution, usually these are 90 to 95% concentrations, even 100% concentrations. So, usually, most of the time, hindi naman po yung atin ang kailangan na concentration. So, instead of buying uh, a readily prepared solution, we can just buy a stock solution which has a high concentration, then dilute it to the concentration we need. And finally, we need uh, it can be used to adjust the concentration of a present solution. If the concentration that you have is too high, you can adjust it to your needs. So why do we need to strengthen? Uh, again, it is to adjust the concentration of solution. But sometimes, when we over dilute, or when we, when the drug isn't reaching its intended therapeutic outcomes, we may increase the concentration by just adding more drug into the solution. Okay? So, kapag, usually, pag hindi po nagre-respond yung patient, pwede po nating patapangin yung solution para tumalab yung ating gamot. Okay? So, paano po ba tayo magdi-dilute? Simple lang po ang ating pagdi-dilute. We just add water or the appropriate medium to the solution. Okay? So, example, you have a solution of 25%. Simply add water and the solution will actually lose concentration. Okay? Bakit po nababa yung concentration niya? Kasi pinapadami mo yung tubig pero hindi mo naman pinapadami yung gamot or yung ating active ingredient. So what happens is uh, mas nababa yung concentration ating solution. So simple lang po ang ating pagdidilute. We simply add water to the appropriate medium or the appropriate medium. Please take note that sometimes hindi water ang ating gamit. It may be alcohol. It may be um, some buffer solution. Next, how do we concentrate? First, we, there are two ways. First, we can add more of the active ingredient into the solution. Okay, so we have a solution of 25%. Again, simply add more drug. This will lead to an increased concentration kasi mas marami na yung gamot mong nilagay pero hindi nagbago yung volume ng solution mo. So, you, have, you may have a solution of 30%. Sorry, pangit po sulat. Okay? Next is, you may evaporate the vehicle of the solution. Okay? So, dito po, Paiinitin mo yung solution so that the vehicle, like water, will evaporate. What will happen is the amount of drug remains the same, pero yung volume will decrease. 
So, pag dumi- bumaba yung volume, pero mataas pa rin yung ating drug, tataas yung concentration. So, kung baga isipin nyo po, pag kayo po ay nagtitimpla ng adobo. So, diga, ang adobo naman ay lalagyan minsan ng tubig o toyo. Okay? Pag kulang yung lasa, kulang yung lasa, it's either lagyan mo ng asin or lagyan mo pa ng toyo or pwede mo namang igahin yung solution. Pag inigam mo yung solution, tatapang yung lasa kasi yung liquid nag evaporate off pero yung mga pampalasa natin remains the same. So, yun na lang po isipin nyo when we evaporate the solution. Okay. So, what are stock solutions? Stock solutions are concentrated solutions of active or inactive substances that are used by pharmacists as a convenience to prepare solutions of lesser concentrations. So, if you look into our lab, it is rare to see uh, multiple concentrations of the same substance. Okay po. So, katulad ng ating hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid, pure hydrochloric acid is 37%. That is pure HCl. So, that is a concentrated solution. That is a stock solution because under 37%, we can dilute to any percent we want. Sometimes 20, sometimes 15, sometimes 5. We can dilute to any percent we want provided that we start with, with, that we start with a high concentration solution by dilution. So, hindi po kasi practical na you keep a stock of multiple concentrations. Hindi mapupuno po ang ating laboratory, iba't ibang percentages ng hydrochloric acid. Ang ginagawa na lang po natin, we, pr- we have one stock solution of high concentration of hydrochloric acid, then we prepare a solution with a, with a concentration we need by dilution. Para po, tipid sa space and tipid sa effort. Saka ka lang gagawa kapag kailangan mo. So, ano ba ang ating concentration for dilution and concentration? Napaka-simple lang po. So, it is concentration 1 times volume 1 equals concentration 2 volume 2. C1 V1 equals C2 V2. Okay, please take note that concentration remains the same, but sometimes volume may be substituted for mass in terms of percent weight in weight. So, weight in weight, yun ang concentration, pero yung, ma- yung V natin will be turned into mass. Okay, sometimes pwede po yan. So, most of the time kasi ating dinudulute ay liquid solutions. That is why we use concentration and volume. C1, V1, and C2, V2. It will look like this one. C1, sorry. C1, V1 equals C2, V2. Okay. Please take note, class, that this, is, this isn't ratio and proportion. Ratio and proportion slightly looks the same. However, this is totally different you will get a wrong solution if you use this formula. It is multiply. It is a multiplication uh, multiplication reaction. This is a, it is a multiplication process. C1 V1 equals C2 V2. Okay? So with that, you can derive different uh, formulas. C1 equals C2 V2 over V1. You can also have... C2 equals C1 V1 over V2. V1 equals C2 V2 over C1. And V2 equals C1 V1 over C2. Okay. Please take note that kailangan po tama rin ang pag-aasahin nyo kung sino ang concentration 1 at sino ang volume 1. Dapat hindi siya magkakabaliktad. Dapat yung vol yung solution A tama yung concentration niya at tama yung kanyang volume. Dapat yung solution B or yung pangalawang solution tama rin yung concentration at tama rin yung volume. Otherwise, dun, dun po kayo magkakamali ng pagko-compute. Okay po. So, knowing the formula, you will survive knowing C1 V2 C1 V1 equals C2 V2 since you can derive all the other formulas using this primary formula. So, kahit yan lang po ang inyong sa ulo, okay na po yun. Okay? So, let's have some sample problems. So, you dissolve 25 grams of salt in 100 ml of water. Then, you're asked to dilute it to a final volume of 1000 ml. 
what is the concentration of the final solution. So what is our first solution? You dissolve 25 grams in 100 ml of water. So ano po yung concentration niya? So ang concentration niya po is 25 grams over 100 ml of water. Pwede pong yan ang inyong gamitin. So that is your C1. Okay? Ano po yung volume niya? 100 ml of water. So 100 ml. This is your V1. Okay? Equals, you dilute it to a final volume. So of 1000 ml. This is your V2. So ano pong nawawala sa atin? What is the concentration of the final solution? That is your C2. So what is the concentration of the final solution? So arranging the formula, you will have 25 grams over 100 ml times 100 ml over 1000 ml equals C2. Okay, so computing 25 divided by 100 times 100 divided by 1000. Okay, so you will have a concentration of 0 0.025 gram per ml. So if you notice, I didn't use percent here. Hindi ko siya ginamit. So, yan po ang final answer. So, if the question asks per percent weight in volume, you simply need to multiply by 100 and you will get 2.5%. Okay? So, that is the first question. Let's move on to the second question. <clears throat> so, you have a stock solution of 30% sodium chloride solution. You are asked to make a 500 ml isotonic solution of 0.9% sodium chloride. How much of the stock solution should you use in making the isotonic solution? And finally, how much water is needed to make 500 ml of isotonic solution? So, ano pong ating problem? First, we have a stock solution. Let's assign it as solution 1. So, the concentration is 30%. The volume... Wala po. Kasi po ang hinahanap po natin is how much of the stock solution it is asking for volume. So, nawawala po siya. So, that is V1. Ano pong, gano po karami kailangan natin gawin? That is 500 ml. So, that is the final solution. And ano yung concentration na? 0.9%. So, nawawala lang po sa atin is V1. So, kung, uh, restructuring the formula, over 30%. V2, V1 will be equal to 0 0.9 times 500 divided by 30. So you will have 0 0.9 times 500 over 30. So you need 15 ml of 30% solution. So that is volume na required. Okay, that is the volume of the stock solution. Now, there is a second question. How much water is needed to make 500 ml of isotonic solution? So let me remove this. So first is, uh, tanggalin ko siya. Pero kailangan natin kanin is 15 ml of 30%. So, how much water is needed to make 500 ml of isotonic solution? It is a simple subtraction equation. So, you have final volume is 500 ml. Ano po ang ating starting volume? Our starting volume is we need to have 15 ml of 30%. So, 15 ml. So, how much water do we need to add para maging uh, 500? So, simply put 500 Final volume minus starting volume, 15 ml. You will need, I think, uh, 485, 500, 500 minus 15. 
you need 485 ml of water okay so this is the answer to the second question this is the answer to the first question so sometimes uh, i will be throwing some questions that will ask not for the final answer uh, not for the final solution or the final concentration but i will be asking how much of the diluent do you need to add so with that i still have some 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 sample problems here i hope you answer them this will be posted in your moodle account i just demonstrated two methods or two sample problems to give you a uh, view on Panasha Computen. So please answer them in your Moodle account. This will be uploaded in your courses. And thank you for listening.